Happy New Year. Tuber family, friends. Today's actually January 4th, and it's 1 o'clock. I ain't get here today till mm, 11.30 maybe. Mm. Let's let that thing go off, would you? Oh, and I was just going through some dirt. I'd knock down. I mean, if you keep your floor good and clean, and you brush back all your dirt and look through it, you're going to see flakes and everything. Inspect each rock. But we know that's not just a rock, really. Hopefully it's got a tip. Oh, oh just missing a little bit of tip. Oh. But hey, no complaints out of me. I did go to the creek oh, one day. We've actually had a good gully washer. Look at that. But that's a that's a knife. <laughs> that's a knife. But I did go to the creek one day and found a sort of okay pooterish point that broke. Sure wasn't what I expected to kick the ear off with. But that there. That there she'll do, yuppers. Thanks for always coming along. January 7th, and I've been, well, I'll throw that little tip nicked off pooter I found a couple days back. Been out in the creek, and boy, our creek got a gully washer, but there just ain't been much to find in it this go around. And I just found this. Oh, I think. Oh, oh, it's missed a little bit of tip. And it's thick. Man, is it thick. Oh, can't complain, though. Oh, that, uh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Look at that. Man, seeing that little bit of tip is gone. Looks like an old, old break though. Damage on the ear is old. Probably taken off when they made it. It's full of mineral deposits. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Great Spirit. Come on, and look what he's got right there. Oh, look at that. Ain't that cool? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that big old pocket on that side. Look at that, though. Still nice, ain't That's it? That's a nice part. Shoot, y'all. We'll get that out of the way. There's that ear missing off of it. Cool beans there, Brookie. All righty. You can see the last place. I put my wiggle pick right there. Popped off this big clump, breaking pieces off of it. I break that open and the little preform pops out. That's awesome. I love good preforms. Check out what just rolled out on me. Still on the clump, and it was exactly sitting just like that, perfectly flat. All the manufactured flakes and the brokes I have too. And there's a pit on this side. That's a definite pit, and it's a nice chert nodule of some type. And we know this rock didn't get there by itself but as to determine if they were using this as an anvil or and a hammer stone 
and exactly why that bit is there. We won't know if it was used as a hammerstone until we clean it up, but that's a pretty good looking defined edge on it right there. Mm. Just a two feet past, past where I found that point, so I don't know. Working my way to this little cedar tree here. Catching the last bit of daylight here. <clears throat> kind of broke stuff like usual. Actually, this failed preform is almost all the way there, but broke on them right there. <clears throat> Couple of nice ads. Uniface on this side. There's one that has a convex body on both sides but has some pretty nice polish on it right there mm, broken sedalia and this thing is ground all the way up both sides a little bit of it's broken off right there and right there another broken sedalia snakeskin stipple conglomeratic just see broken smetley this here's a heartbreaker. A broken Dalton drill. Another broken drill. Oh, and this thing here. Man, this thing has some fantastic colors and workings on it. That's all translucent. Heartbreaker. And then I had this point right here. Pretty cool with that bullseye on that side. Turn it over, it gets pretty cobbly and mean material. A little bit of tip missing. And this pretty nice Smetley Melville type point right here. Made out of some nice blue and gray Jesse chert. Here's ancient damage. It's focusing in good. You can press that mineral deposit right there. Then you flip her over. Oh, and look, it could have been beautiful. Got a big freeze pocket in it. And this wasn't but about 8, 10 inches down in black dirt, so I believe it had a natural fracture inclusion in it. You can see where it came off with that flakes car right there. Everything, and they all circle in there, popped right out of it. Then found this preform, and when I found this hammerstone, double pitted. Now you can see the pit real good on this side, and it's really smooth here. You can see the nice rim edge all the way around. See where they used it for pecking on it with. When I found this, I should have thought about it, but I was kind of excited. I found this right after I found this preform. Directly after. I mean, they wouldn't have been that far away. That's about how far they were. I knocked down that piece of dirt, and I cut my roots and cleaned my wall, and it wasn't the next freaking wiggle pick that was laying there. That's the only way you're going to find that. I mean, you can pick up hammer stones next to something in a field or something all day long, but you can't really say that they came together unless you dig them out from context. That's what you get from digging right there. I mean, it's as cool as it gets to find the preform and the hammer stone that made it. That's awesome. Well, that's the start of my 2019 hope everybody has a stellar year to come now here's another ads I wanted to show this one this thing and it's just this may have broke on them it's really hard to tell I think they just may have left it like that and used it because you see where they were napping it on here cause this great big hinge right here but this thing has severe polish 
on both sides of the bit. Well, I'll quit boring you to death. Hope everybody is able to get out soon. Find a stellar point in your path. Tomorrow, Friday, we're supposed to get hammered with anywhere from 5 to 8 inches of snow. So we'll be on the lowdown for a while. Alright, later.